Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tax Support channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to create fixed length file in Oracle integration. Very frequent requirement, which I'm getting from, from my viewers of YouTube, you know, uh, my connection, and they, they are struggling to create a fixed length file in Oracle integration, and they don't know how to create it. So this forced me to create a video so that I can show you how to achieve the same in Oracle integration. So guys, before I start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. One more useful information I would like to deliver with you guys that I have recently authored a book on Oracle Visual Builder. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder with a lot of real-time examples, this is a good book for you. You can go ahead and then buy this book and start learning Oracle Visual Builder with a lot of real-time examples. If you are willing to if you are willing to buy this book, you can simply go to this link https colon slash slash three m w s n r seven. Okay, this link will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy the book. Okay, now let's get started. Let's try to understand first of all what is that fixed length file. If you don't know what is fixed length file, let me just help you to understand that first of all. Fixed length files have a constraint length for each field and record. What, did, what does it mean? For example, if you wanted to create a text file wherein you have a few columns like first name, last name, and then department, and you always wanted to have the limitation on the value, like first name can only have the eight characters. The last name must have only four characters and department must have only two characters, something like this. So that will be known as a fixed length file. For example, if you have a data in a text file like the extension .txt, where the first column always has exactly eight characters and the second column has exactly five and third has exactly 12 and so on and so forth, this would be categorized as a fixed with text file. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video, I am going to create a REST API, which will take the data in a JSON format as I like, wherein I can push the first name, last name, and then department in an array, and then we'll create a fixed length text file using that data. So before I take you to the Oracle integration, let me show you the XXT, which I have created to generate my fixed length file. Okay, don't worry, I will share that XXT with you guys so that you can create this integration on your own. So what I have done, I simply, this is my schema file, which I have created the target name is space. I have taken it here and then element, the employee element, it can be anything. And then choice minimum occurs, unbounded choice condition, something like this. These are the standard things. And here you see in the sequence, I have three elements. One is the first name, last name, and then department. And here I have defined the length. So first name should not exceed the eight character if it will, if it is exceeded, then the exceeded character will be truncated. If it is like three character, then it will have three character in the name and then rest five will be the spaces. Okay, similarly, the last name will have only four character, department will have only the four characters, something like this. So let's get started and let me share my Oracle integration screen here. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to create an integration based on the app three one and I will say fix and file. Fix and file. Click on the button. Now I already have the adapter like my trigger adapter, like rest adapter. And then I'm going to create fixed file. Okay. Next, and then here I'll say fixed. You can take anything depending on your choice. I'll take as a post, we'll configure a request payload, and then we'll get a response back. Also, okay, click on the next button, and then we'll accept the JSON sample in line. And here it is a array sign, and then the records like first name. Like last name and like department. So 
I will take the input in a JSON. Click on the next button and then here I will choose JSON sample and then inline and here I'll simply put the status. Okay, click OK button. Oh, what is? Okay, tapas. And then OK. Click on the next button and then finish. I am good. Fine. As a next step, I am going to create a fixed length file on a FTP. So I am going to choose my FTP connection here. Okay, so here I am saying create write file. And then next, and here I will say write file and then S key. And I'm going to put a directory structure like slash home, slash OPC slash fixed okay and then i'm going to say emp underscore sequence.csv click on the next button and then i'm going to create uh i'm going to pull uh fsg kind of format just allow me a minute i'm going to put as a txt okay and then here i will choose the same fsg document which i have shown you here let me just pull out choose the fsg file Let me just choose the FST file. Okay, so I have chosen my XSD file, which I have shown you, and then click on the next button and then simply say that. Okay, right. Now let me just do the mapping. The mapping will be very simple. And then here the employees, and then employee, and then request wrapper, top level array. This is my array element, and then map it to this first name, and then last name, and then department. That's all. Click on a validate, and then close. And then this is my status, the response. I can put a hard coded one as simple as that. Status and then create target node. And then let's say success. Good to go. Validate and then close. And now, the lastly, I need to enable the tracking parameter. Right. First name and then. Fine. Save your integration, close it, and we are good to test the integration. Activate. Enable tracing and then include payload and then activate. Fine. Okay, it's in the activation is in progress. Okay, and then click on a test button. Then under body, let me say A and K, U, R, and then last name, let's say J, A, I, and let's say department. Okay, let's say information technology. Just let me just take one more element. And this time I will say anchor Kumar, and this time I will say Gupta, and then I will say admin. Let's see what will happen. Right. Click on a test button. The file should be generated. Here you see 200. Okay. Right. Everything is done. Now let me just show you the file which has been generated. Okay, so here you see I am in this directory where the file has been created. And if you see, put cat and emp1.txt, and here you see this is my file, Ankur. And here you see five characters, six, seven, eight. Okay, and you see three spaces here. And then I put 
Jan, J A I, and J A I N. And then again, info. So, department has only how many characters was there? I mentioned. I mentioned four characters. Okay. Four characters for eight characters for first name. Then four characters for my last name and then four characters in the department. And here you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I, you remember I passed Ankur Kumar and all other characters has been trun uh, trun truncated and G U P T A. I mentioned Gupta and only four. And then similarly, I mentioned admin and only I have A D M I. This is how you can generate fixed length file and Oracle integration with very simple steps. That's all about this video, guys. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can also look at my blog, https colon slash dash www.techsupper.com. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Good day. Bye-bye.